I stated that this is a complicated as fuck topic. Honestly, dude, like, honestly, like, of this bullshit, right? For the record, I've never taken steroids. Really? He's a fake piece of shit liar that made everyone eat balls and raw meats and shit, poisoning people. Lies give you the best results on the internet. I misled a lot of people. You fucking blew it. You know what? This, this is bullshit. A sweet revival. You can read about it in the Bible. The Hi, this is Gary Carburetor. 10-year exposure of bullshit in the diet and health community. These days, there's more coming out than ever. My last video was about another carnivore-type dieter crashing. That one was in a debate. This time, it is Liver King's crash of his whole online image as this natural, natural eater, which is bullshit, which was covered in the debate. They can't prove this diet is natural or healthy. Now, here's a summary of this scandal, huge scandal. To bring you up to date, the liver king, Brian Johnson, is a lifestyle and bodybuilding guru and coach. Although he's not a strict carnivore, he's gotten into that carnivore community. They really like him. You know, and it's easy for a bodybuilder to get into this community because they're already eating a lot of meat. So he just takes it a little further and he emphasizes the liver thing because he noticed that gets him a lot of attention. He admitted that. When I first noticed the Liver King, he had 1% of the following he does now across all platforms, if that. And within a year, he has managed to build a fan base of millions of followers. His message centers around nine core ancestral tenets, which have remained the cornerstone of his content since day one. Sleep, eat, move, shield, connect, cold, sun, fight, and bond. Liver King believes the modern world has made men soft, and it's his duty to empower the masses to become jacked, high testosterone, metabolically and cognitively peak primals with a higher quality of life and to inspire change. He walks the walk and shows off the polar extreme of ancestral living, which includes being shirtless, essentially the ancestrally consistent meat and organs he eats huge quantities of, and this includes heart, raw testicles, liver, etc. Maybe half a teaspoon worth of adrenal gland. Ew. I earned a hundred million dollars off the backs of People wanting to honestly make progress. Birdie told me that you're, you're making over $100 million a year from your businesses. True or false? True. True. That's, that's a pretty staggering, staggering accomplishment. Now, understandably, this success draws a greater level of scrutiny to his claims of being natural, as there is a clear monetary incentive to promote what he does. And if he's on drugs after all, there is a clear monetary incentive to withhold that information from the public and lie about it to push his agenda. I guess that agenda would be to make money. Make money off of coupling his agenda with the meat industry's agenda, which is to save money. Yes, okay, 100%. I, I do not, dis here's the thing. I agree with everybody. I started getting tagged more and more on his content when people started noticing he was implying heavily that his physique was achieved solely by following the nine ancestral tenets and was not enhanced with steroids or any exogenous hormones or PEDs. Have you seen that bloke that eats the, just the raw? Mm, you know, that's a gimmick, that guy. It just looks ridiculous. He's got a something. plate of hearts and he's, he just looks weird. He's got an ass filled with steroids is what he's got. <laughs> Living off the nine pillars of health and sustainability or nah. whatever the fuck it is, like liver and testicles and <laughs> drinking blood. And like, it's, it's a gimmick. Is Rogan calling out himself here? Wasn't he falling for that gimmick in the last couple of years? But just halfway. And this scrutiny has compounded exponentially over the past year as Liver King is not just not just doubled down on his statements of claiming natural, but he has li literally a hundred folded down on it on several of the biggest podcasts in the world. Regardless of whether you use stuff or not, like, I don't. Can they get a build like yours without taking them? So I want to set the record straight. I want to expand and tell you why it's possible. Guys with bad jeans, are they worth it? Jeans go with everything. They go with nothing. nothing. Dudes, get the new only pant by. Joe Rogan criticized you. Joe Rogan's a big person in yeah. terms of his platform. Yeah. Big. How did that feel? when he said he alluded that you're on steroids or something like that? Yeah, number one, I don't do it. 
Same question, same answer. I didn't touch the stuff, don't touch the stuff, right? The, the question has always been, do you take steroids? Do you take PEDs? The answer to that is no. I've always told the truth, I still tell the truth. Mm -hmm. If you've built this biological resilience, I always say, ha have a little poison. I, I, I'll drink, I'll do mushrooms, I'll do shit like every Saturday, I imbibe. I'm like, you know what, I'm healthy enough. If I want to do a cycle. I noticed this guy just said he thinks he's healthy. It sounds like he can't even breathe through his nose. If they're taking steroids and they want to get up to 1,400 or 1,500 or whatever it is, yeah. guess what? You can do the same thing with the nine ancestral tenants. And if you do the nine ancestral tenants and you're living this oh, way shit. over this amount of decades. This is the same scam that I've been seeing since I've been in these circles about 10 years. I've tried making videos explaining how this is a scam, but people don't want to hear it. They want to believe. And that's why it's possible that so many people would believe he doesn't take steroids because they want to believe in it. They want to believe that they can achieve what he has. Talk to us about, you know, whether you use performance enhancing drugs or steroids or anything to get this physique. Listen, I love this question. I've been getting this question since high school and it's done more to lift the Liver King brand and message than any other question. So <laughs> like I've been saying for many years, Lies give you the best results on the internet. It's the biggest liars that get the most popular. That's why he loves the question, because it's another opportunity to say this big lie that people don't believe. And then they go and talk about it. He, he said it again. They make response videos about it, and all that stuff just makes him more popular. I've been saying this for years. Let, let that live with you. The doubling down, tripling down, quadrupling down like this guy does not really have an off switch when it comes to leaning into this it when i hear the term doubling down i think of the first person i've heard that expression used for there's a guy most famous for doubling down and tripling down and it never hurts him so that's how things went over the last year then came five days ago November 28, news broke on YouTube. A person who says he was Liver King's coach released emails of the two of them talking back and forth about a lot of different stuff. And here's a YouTuber reading through those emails. Which supplements are you currently using? Brands, dosages, etc. What have you tried in the past that worked and didn't work? Are you using any of these supplements to cover a deficiency, like vitamin D3, for example? Ancestral supplements, thyroid. Ancestral supplements, heart. Ancestral supplements, beef organs. Ancestral supplements, bone marrow and tallow. N acetylcysteine, two grams per day. Tudka, one gram. Creatine, 10 grams per day. Protein powder. So these are gonna be for liver preventative health, trying to protect his liver. Are you currently taking any medications? Which ones and for what purposes? SIP, as in testosterone, sipionate, DECA, natural indicanoate, Omnitrope, growth hormone, MK677. Do you feel you respond better to carbs or fats? What kind of diet did you follow in the past and have you done any carb cycling or keto? My energy is better with fat and my cognition is better with fat. I add carbs, carbs post-workout for the muscle fullness. I do carb cycling and keto as needed. Filming, vacation, etc. Food allergies. What food do you feel you respond good to bodybuilding wise and which do you find hard to digest that are usually used by bodybuilders? I fucking love my food. I pretty much eat keto carnivore unless I've just worked out. If I've earned the carbs, I will eat 100 or so right after a workout. My blood sugar is usually 70 to 84 every morning. If I need to lean out, I stop eating post-workout carbs for four to six weeks. 9 a.m. Eat meal one. 45 gram shake with cold mineral water, 60 grams dextrose, 100 grams whole Greek yogurt, 30 grams maple syrup, four farm fresh eggs, five grams creatine, 10 grams collagen, 30 grams almond butter, 20 grams ghee, five grams redmond salt, two ounces of red meat. Jesus, so it's kind of interesting because like I shit. wonder, some of the stuff I've never seen him have, like 60 grams of dextrose powder, never seen that before. Him supplementing with creatine is really interesting given how much red meat he eats. 10 grams of collagen powder, presumably. I take the second dose of Omnitrope right before this workout. 2.30 p.m., eat meal two, 45 gram protein shake with cold mineral water, 60 grams of dextrose again, 100 grams whole Greek yogurt, 60 grams maple syrup, four farm fresh eggs, five grams creatine, 10 grams collagen, 30 grams almond butter, 20 grams ghee, five grams redmond salt, two to four ounces of raw liver, 30 grams of raw bone marrow, three to 4.30, meetings and phone calls, 4.30, eat meal number three. His diet is so shit. Three, 12 ounce of full fat red meat. For example, ribeye, ground wagyu, or short ribs, and 100 to 200 grams sweet potatoes. 
But the question remained, were these emails real from the Liver King or were they fake emails? Well, that period didn't last long because just yesterday, December 2, the Liver King finally gave a direct response to this scandal, which was blowing up all over the place and pretty obvious, or people just assume it's true. So he came out and admitted it. Yes, I've done steroids. And yes, I'm on steroids, monitored and managed by a trained hormone clinician. All right, so usually I'm a nice guy. And I forgive people when they make mistakes. Before social media, I was rich and anonymous. And after social media, I'm still rich, but no longer anonymous. And I never expected this kind of exposure in the public eye. It's been tricky as fuck to navigate. I've done steroids. I don't touch the stuff. I'm on steroids. Isn't it just fucked up that a muscular, lean man has to justify his level of fitness? No, he's not muscular. He is freakish. Clearly, I did it wrong. He did this strictly because money is everything to him. This is a perfect example of it. He already had fucking money, but he was greedy. And he wanted fucking more. So look what he did to his life, right? Because he was so greedy, right? And now, remember how I was saying, he has a reputation now, okay? Of being a liar and a con. So yeah, he made a lot more money that he didn't fucking need. But now when he goes out, he goes to the UFC events, he goes to all this bullshit. You think he's going to walk around proud? Or is he going to be embarrassed, okay, to go outside? People are going to know. He's a fake piece of shit liar that made everyone eat balls and raw meats and shit, poisoning people, fucking food poisoning. Who knows what else problems they're going to have because of the bullshit you were fucking promoting. Anybody who is a fake natty, right? If you are not natural, if you are on steroids and you are selling a product and manipulating people to believe that what, they, what you're doing, they can get by taking the products you're selling... You are a piece of shit liar. And if you get caught, and you will get caught, you deserve absolutely every single thing that is coming to you. More attention and money? But what the hell do I know? I'm not one of these internet gurus with hundreds of thousands of subs. So after this admission of lying, let's see some of this fallout from the community. All right, this is take number 17,000 on this video trying to find um my yeah. part in this whole witch hunt it's a witch hunt let's be serious everybody liver king okay liver king you guys obviously by now i'm late to the party obviously by now you've probably seen uh, derek's video derek has emails um he got a hold of some emails and i think uh, those are some confidential emails liver king sent to to derek and or sorry um a coach who doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter. Brian Johnson's confidential emails that he trusted with somebody. I don't care if Brian Johnson was lying. Wait a second here. This Johnny guy claims to be a Christian, wishes to hurt people because they are exposing something harmful, has trouble controlling his temper, and probably eats a lot of burgers. Where was he on January 6th? 100%. I'm 100% believe that. 100%. 100%. 100%. Thanks for watching. And for your own health and successful life, subscribe to this channel. I've been in this persona about six times longer than the Liver King. I have stood the test of time. I am the real deal. That's why I'm so unpopular. So join the half a percent in this world who's actually living large just by eating the proper human diet and having a proper mindset that gives me a natural feeling of contentness in life with no worries about what's going to happen to my liver.